So, this is sort of her, like, in, I don't know, coma, purgatory, what have you. That's right, now I'm here. It's time. Before I get on, I just, I need a few minutes to think. I suppose there isn't any harm in just taking one quick look. So what is this place? That's what I want to know. Whoa, what the frick? Your father never showed me his paintings. He always thought they weren't very good. But I really love this one. I'm glad I got a chance to finally see it. Huh. Oh, I'm wondering if this is the art gallery she wanted to do. This one is amazing. It was made by the lady who lives two doors down from me. I didn't even know she was an artist. I'm, I'm like used to the slide puzzle. Beth, I love it. The carpets are divine. Nice. Beth, great job on this. What the? <laughs> Freaking that guy looks weird. So, you're the enterprising young woman who made this happen. Well done, I say. This is cool. I should draw something so you could put it up here. I could draw a dog. I like dogs. There, yeah, Artie. You do. You like dogs. You run this place? It's looking really good. I remember when they used... I remember when there used to be a fast food... Fast food... <laughs> Everyone there used to be a fast food joint in this property, but there's still like ten of them in town, and this is our first real space for art. Wow, people have been really nice. Too bad I can't stay here forever. I guess I should check out the offices behind the curtain, then head for the ship. I'm curious what this ship is. I mean, obviously it seems like it's a gateway to, like, you know, the afterlife, but... What the frick? I'm supposed to go behind the curtains, aren't I? Having fun? Yeah, I really am. Do you want to look around the back office before I leave? Leave? In the middle of your party? No way, man. You gotta help me wrangle these two, at least. What? What are you talking about? Ah, I hear them now. Are the, they mine? They look like me, and yet they look like Artie, too. I feel so different. Like, maybe I could fix things that went wrong in my life by making sure they didn't have to suffer like I did. This. Everything here with me now. This is what's important. This is what my father was trying to tell me. Still, what good is that now when I'm about to die? But what if I didn't die? Well, then I could do anything. I could build a real life for myself. Mom, Dad was right about what really matters. But you were right, too. Can't give up. And even if I do have to die, it's better to go down fighting. There's only one thing left to do now. You're a cheat. You're a cheating piece of garbage. You know that? One rule for you and a different rule for me. I'll beat you even if you cheat. Won't that be embarrassing for you? Oh my. It, oh god, no. <laughs> no. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Well, wow, that's terrifying. That's not scary at all. Uh... Oh, frickin' hell, really? Which way is he going? Oh, shoot. Oh, no, no, don't you get me? No! No, Beth! Anyway. Well, this one's gonna suck. That's all I already can tell. Fudge. Ish is what. That's what I have to say. Wouldn't you? 
Oh, oh, hello. Oh, there we go. Uh, oh, freaking hell. No! No, gosh dang it. You stupid. You suck. You suck. Okay. How are we going to do this? Yeah, buddy. That's what you get. No. No. <laughs> Fudge. This is this is gonna be ridiculous, isn't it? Oh my god. Why why is this happening to me? It's not it's not right. It's not right. Um yeah. Oh there we go. Maybe I do this. Oh fudge, okay. Yeah, buddy, yeah. This one, this one is going to be the absolute death of me. If I could just point that out right now. Fudge! Oh, gosh dang it, I was so close. I hate you, whatever you are. I don't know what you are, but you're annoying and stupid and dumb. But you're ugly and you're hideous, and I don't care if I did a super cool voice for you. Oh, God, no. You just, gosh, come on. You really are a cheater. You know that? This isn't fair. I understand that for the purpose... Of, <sighs> the purpose of a game... You have to have some sort of advantage, otherwise it'd just be too easy to beat you. But, th that's beside the point. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I had it the whole time, and I was just afraid to go. Oh my goodness. That was so stupid. Honestly, it was mostly my fault. Sometimes in games like this, I'll, what the frick? Oh, get out of here. What am I supposed to do? This is a load of crap, and you know it, game. This is... This is impossible. He's right behind me, and there's nowhere to go. Why did I think I could do it? All I've ever done is fail. Why should that change now? No. No, forget this. I'm done following your rules. I'm going to take two steps. There's not a goddamn thing you can do about it. Not much fun when things are fair, is it? Well, just wait. Now I'm going to take three steps. Wrecked. Salon sucker. Okay. <laughs> Could come up with a little bit better of a so long speech or whatever. I'd love to walk back. Okay, no. I was like, I was curious if we walk backwards. If anything will happen. He's far behind now, but he's not quitting. I may never be rid of him for good, but if I can keep this pace up, I'll make it. He's done controlling my life. It's about time I stepped into that role. My ship's about to come in, and I'm the captain. Oh, and that's it! Written, designed, directed by Mark Conforti, Rob Glidden. Script by Rob Glidden, based on characters from x -Norm by Mark Conforti and Rob Glidden. Game design, Mark Conforti, Rob Glidden. Okay, so that is Labyrinthine Dreams. My assumption is she actually was not, ne well, she wasn't necessarily dying. She was in a coma and whatnot. And then, it, you know, in, in sort of her, her comatose state or whatnot, on, all doped up on medication because obviously she's on tons of drugs, chemo and whatnot. She has a dream where she sees what her life could be, and she decides that instead of just giving in and sort of accepting, just accepting the hand she was dealt, you know, she's going to keep fighting, and she's going to fight, and 
seems like excuse me seems like the assumption is that she will beat this uh, disease and go on to live a happy life and it won't always be easy but she will do her darndest to not let I guess despair and worry and anxiety all those things um, sort of take over her doubt and whatnot and decide that she is in charge of her life and not her worries so that is labyrinthine dreams that was actually pretty darn good i will say i'd probably give it around eight out of ten um there is actually voice acting in this game i turned it off just because i thought it would just flow better with the the let's play and i didn't necessarily think the voice acting was that great from the little bit i played on my own um so, not to say I'm an amazing voice actor, but I just thought, you know, it, between all those things, it was best. Um, pretty good message. Definitely something to think about. Um, you know, one of the reasons I, d I started this channel was because of what Let's Plays had, you know, helped me get through. And, you know, or the tough times that Let's Plays helped me get through. So... You know, to see a game specifically about those things, you know, uh, overcoming adversity, obviously, through childhood and sickness, self-doubt, all those things to sort of find love, uh, happiness, hope for the future, um, and just sort of pursue your dreams. And, you know, it's not always going to be easy, but hey, as long as you start, as long as you stay ahead and you keep up your pace, who knows what you can do. Always believe in yourself. And that is my soapbox for the day. Game was, I guess you could argue, it was a little cliche at times. Um, but cliche is not always bad. It did, it did it well. So I will say that. Um, I, I'm not saying the whole thing was cliche, but I'm saying there are a lot of parts of it that were cliche. You know, the whole sickness thing and being sick, that's actually not something I see in games a lot, at least. You know, in indie games, like, yeah, there's like, oh, they're dying or something like that, but like, this one was one of the few where, um, you know, the main character was actually sick. I just feel like I don't see it a lot. Um, maybe I'm wrong if you know any other games where the main character is going through something like this, cancer treatment and whatnot. Obviously, you didn't see too much of it, but, you know. But I've been rambling for probably about five minutes now. So, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, this took me about 90 minutes. I'll probably chop... There's probably about half an hour to chop out at least, so... I'll probably divvy this up into two, four 15-minute episodes or so. Um, post them over two days. Uh, so, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this reprieve from Five Nights at Freddy's. So, thank you guys. And... Remember, keep on keeping on, and I'll see you next time for more Ultima Plays. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs>